Good morning folks, it's a beautiful Friday morning on the eve of Merdeka and Selamat Hari Kebangsaan and Selamat Hari Merdeka. Happy Independence Day everybody. So yeah, today I kind of took the morning off to tend to my cars. Been kind of busy lately. And uh, so here's the uh, the old Bella right next to my uh, E30 over there. Uh, 10 years, uh, sorry, no, yeah, 10 years separate the two cars. That's uh, from, this one's from 1979, that one's from 1990. So yeah, about 11 years. And uh, you see, the thing with classic car ownership is that you really do have to take care of them. Uh, right now, I'm actually just checking the, uh, the engine to, to see the um, levels of uh, coolant as well as engine oil. And okay, it's not hot, never open when hot. So let's see how she's doing. Okay, that could use a top up. So yeah, you know what? Alphas don't leak, they just mark their territory and this car has been marking its territory quite a lot. And who in their right mind would put the dipstick right next to the headers? But yes, Alfa Romeo did. And uh, here's the dipstick right next to the headers. So yeah, you don't want to check the engine oil when the car is hot. And uh, yeah, that looks okay. Maybe I'll just uh, top up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so this car is four decades old, 40 years old. And uh, so yes, a little bit of periodic DIY maintenance on your own is always good. Okay, that's good. And that's good too. I had to buy a new battery, of course. Uh, there's no micro leaks in this car. It's just uh, a lot of, uh, well, you know, old cars. But uh, by and large, yeah, I tried the, uh, the method of starting by pumping the accelerator twice and then holding it at a quarter. And yeah, she starts up. She starts up beautifully. Uh, today she's going to my friend's uh, workshop, well actually no, it's a paint shop. Uh, I gotta get some of this done because this is a cancer. This is a car cancer right here. This is rust and it's uh, already bubbling on the paint which is, uh, and it needs, uh, it needs quite a lot of, uh, it needs an outside coat. The interior is still good, still very happy with that and oh, treasure. Look what I managed to find recently. Yes, these are wing mirrors for an Alfa Romeo Alfetta. Thank you, Mike, if you're watching. And uh, yeah, there you go. It says Alfa Romeo right there. Vitalone. Something. So yeah, those are going to be fitted on. Of course, they're going to be painted the body color, not red. And uh, I still think these rear seats have not really been sat on. But I'm going to show you why this car needs uh, it needs to go to the shop. It might look really nice right now from all these uh, from these photos, photos, video. But telltale signs of rust are starting to creep in. You can see it there. So this has to be taken care of because it's not going to get better. It's not like a headache where you know you pop a couple of Panadol and you know a couple of hours it's gone. No, this gets worse. This will always get worse. And yes. A fire extinguisher always. So other telltale signs, you see this? That's rust, which means the underside of the doors are starting to flake, which is not good. Now, as you know, all cars have a drainage hole at the bottom there to uh, drain water that actually seeps in through the sills, goes into the door, and then it's supposed to drain out there. But sometimes it gets clogged and clogged water causes rust. Of course, our heat and humidity just spurs on the, uh, the process. But people have asked, hey, what's this like as a daily driver? I'll be honest with you, this is not my daily driver. That's my daily driver over there. And of course, the Merc 126 as well. This is not a daily driver. This car has earned its rest. It's only gonna be used on weekends, Sunday drives. I got the power windows fixed. The rears are wind up, so put the windows down. Don't turn on the AC. Just cruise and listen to that sound. The car's got a stereo, but I've not used it. I've not even touched it. I haven't turned it on once. Because this, this is an orchestra right here. The sound that this car makes is just incredible. I, I mentioned earlier in one of my comments in the previous video that this car makes you want to drive, even though you just wanted to start it up and warm up the engine a bit because it hadn't started up for a while. This car, once you start it up, it, you just want to drive it. There's, I mean, there's no two ways about it. So ju you just want to get in and drive. So, yep, a few more rust spots here and here. 
this is going to be tricky because it's right at the sill and I don't want them to remove this because they ne it never goes back again properly. This is still the original sill. But this has to be taken care of. And maybe I'll get the steering wheel refurbished because it's kind of the, the laminate's kind of flaking off a bit. But yeah, there you go. There's the car. And uh, you want to hear it? Of course. Why not? Hold on a sec. So, let's start her up. Lights come on. Double tap. Little hold. And there we go. Yep, that's all in place. Good. Just purring along, warming herself up, clearing her throat. So lovely. Okay, so uh, I reckon it's gonna be at least two to three weeks until I see this car again. So I just thought I'd make a quick video just to say goodbye for now. Arrivederci until you come back because this car is a keeper and uh, I gotta get all that rust taken care of and uh, give it a nice coat of paint on the outside. And hopefully she'll be back good as new soon right stay tuned for more sorry I couldn't do a, a daytime driving video uh, I will do that after the car comes back from the shop and so stay tuned for that so in the meantime just saying a quick goodbye uh, my friend Chris who also Chris is also coming uh, coming to pick up the car soon and take her to get her all pretty again yeah Nice. Okay, folks. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Happy Independence Day. Selamat Hari Merdeka. Got my flags going. Yeah. One Malaysia. Salam satu Malaysia. Take care, guys and gals. Bye.